Okay, this is the upstairs, be the third panel. Some people call them sub panels, but it's what we learn is the air conditioning system is 30 amp system that seems to be properly fused, but the white hot inside of there should have had black tape wrapped on it. I know if you don't know that's hot, you don't belong in this little box, but it should have it. And coming up here, we've got neutrals that are double lugged. You can double lug a ground, but you shouldn't double lug a neutral because they actually carry current every time the circuit's being operated. They're not an emergency, they're a necessity. Just like these breakers shouldn't be double lugged, neither should the neutrals be double lugged. And in a sub panel, call it what you will, you know, the third panel, secondary third panel, okay, the neutrals and the grounds are not supposed to be sharing the same bus bar. The only bond the neutrals and the grounds in the main service panel. You got a second panel like that, they're not supposed to be bonded. So what do we learn? Oh, and then we got handwriting. Handwriting. So what do we learn? We learn that our cover's handwritten and it only has two screws. We learn that we got white hots in the panel. We learn that we got double lug neutrals in the panel. We learn that we got neutrals and grounds on the same bond, on the same bus bar in the panel. But that's not why we're up here. <laughs> We're up here to talk about the attic. Look at the ceiling there. Okay. It's kind of going backwards a little bit, isn't it? This light doesn't work. Luminary. All right. Now it's kind of look kind of cruddy. The roof looks kind of cruddy over there. But what really this video is about, to get to the point, bud, is that we do not have sufficient service access in front of the third or the east indoor air handler. Yay. All right. This thing teeters and totters, and it teeters and totters on top, of, on top of that pipe. And I'm not going to crawl over there, although I have, and I learned, and so I've learned to leave that pipe alone. And the air filter is right there inside those buckets, and it is a 16 by 25 by 1. Another thing that I learned when I opened it up is the darn thing was pretty darn clean. It's like somebody was expecting me, which is good, which is good. We've got a care and use manual. Now... We got a sediment trap on our gas line. You'll learn about that with the water heater or maybe some other places. Stainless steel. Uh, our primary drain P trap is shallow. It's insulated like it's supposed to be, but it's shallow. Again, we do not have service access. We got stuff in the pan. We got leaking air duct at the units. Our air ducts, well, I'll keep going. Furnace. You're never supposed to have negative pitch on your furnace fluid. Furnace is supposed to stay together without the benefit of tape. And the furnace flue is not properly supported. A little bit of coat hanger wire up there, that's not an approved. It's not an approved. But then, of course, look at the condition of the roof underneath there. Then our air duct is leaking, like I said. It's sagging. Not supposed to have more than half an inch sag. All right. Not supposed to be leaking at its connections. It's supposed to be sealed up like that. Not supposed to be sealed with cloth tape. Is that cloth tape? No, it's not. All right, not supposed to be kinked. All right. So we got mo bound, crushed. Uh, you're not supposed to do those kinds of things to your air duct. Your duct's supposed to be kind of smooth, like a race car engine air duct. Okay. So what did we learn? We learned that our flu is not properly supported. It has tape on it. It has negative pitch. We learned that we have insufficient service access to the indoor air handler here on the east attic. We learned that the light doesn't work. We learned that we got a shallow P-trap, however it is insulated. And we learned that our air duct is just about everything I can think of to write wrong with an air duct installation. Installation. I'm not seeing any torn air duct. I'm not seeing things like that. But it's kinked, it's sagging, it's leaking. That's enough. 